The Lenore County Board of Commissioners are another step closer to adding more security measures inside and outside schools. The decision comes after the board approved a capital request of $570,000. Now on your sides, Dominique Moody joins us now from the newsroom. Dominique, you attended the meeting and you had a chance to speak with some of the parents. What were some of the concerns you were hearing from parents and those county leaders? Shayla, a few members of the board weren't so quick to vote yes for the funds, while other board members were adamant to improving the funding. And parents tell me that the safety of students should be a top priority. For Carlos Terenzi, picking up his grandson after school is a delight. In this day and time, it's a necessary uh, thing to do. You definitely need tighter security. That's exactly what Terenzi and other parents would like to see in school. It gives you uh, a little comfort to know that you, uh, that your child is safe. And I think we need to get them in all the schools. Tougher security measures is what commissioners in Lenore County voted for in Monday's meeting. But it wasn't an easy decision to make. Nobody's opposed to making the school safe for children, but what I am opposed to is when we get a one-page document that requests $570,000 and there's no backup to it. In Monday's vote, Eric Rouse wanted clarification on the decision. Rouse says a breakdown of the allocation for the funds for cameras, locks on doors, and key fobs is what the board needed. I think it's irresponsible to just vote on something based on one sheet of paper that has no backup with it. Where it was going to go and how it was going to benefit the children. Yet not every board member felt that way. It was just time to bite the bullet and to let's start because if you don't make a move, you never will. Current vice chair for the Board of Commissioners, Linda Spellman Rouse, explained the next phase that the Board of Education has to make. They have to do bids and they have to order stuff and then the maintenance crew will have to schedule in the time to do all that. Parents like Terenzi are eager eager to have safety tools to help protect students, including his grandson. It's a shame that this keeps happening, and it's happening so much that, that it's not even uncommon anymore. It's happening so much, and, and, and that's the real tragedy. The next step is for the Board of Education to begin entertaining bids for what cameras they want installed, the types of locks on doors, and the keypads for teachers to enter and exit the doors. Dominique Moody, now on your side.